بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone and yes my birthday was just a few days ago guys it is on the 4th of August so even though we don't necessarily have to celebrate birthdays or anything like that happy birthday to me thank you Allah this is what I like to use my birthday for is to be able to just celebrate and say thank you Allah for giving me another day to hopefully hopefully uh you know learn these lessons that you want me to learn and get through them properly inshallah right so without further ado as usual as like i usually like to do i'm gonna just jump right into this surah and this surah is as as claimed and i know you guys like me to do certain recitations by certain people and everything but i just thought that i'd maybe switch it up a little bit and i choose so this person is um i'm not actually sure he's reciting it it might be in the title in arabic i can't read that part um but yeah, so I believe it is done by um it's not giving me I'll just put it on the screen if I can find who did it, okay guys, because I know you love to know that. But I have a feeling that you guys are gonna love this person's voice, and so I'm gonna go ahead and I can say as usual the title of the video. So the title of this particular beautiful surah is and is one of the most popular surahs in the Quran, is called most beautiful recitation of Surah Yasin. Yasin, two different spellings, two E's, one I. Or by Zekrula TV. So, and so without further ado, without further ado, here is Surah Yasin. <laughs> Yaseen Wal Qur'an al-Hakim Inna ka la min al-Mursaleen Ala siratim mustaqim Tanzeel al-Aziz لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آبا أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون أعناكهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مقمهون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبصرون وسواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمن okay. So since I was really interrupted, I will talk about how this part is very interesting because I remember that I just recently listened to this story about Allah saying, hey, you know, um, even though I've warned you, even though I've warned you and warned you a million times, you know, if I, if a fellow believer, if a fellow be comes to you and it's like telling you the revelation it is the same whether you warn them or not, us, whether we warn them or not. They still will not believe. And this is because of the barrier that he just spoke about having been put in, in, for, in front of them and before them. And Allah also speaks in another verse, and I'll put it on the screen here. Oh, there is a either disease in their heart and or their heart is closed. Which I feel like the two are simultaneous with one another, but I need to look into that. You know, even if they're separate from one another, either way, there's a disease and there's like um, there's like a, a, um, a veil over their hearts. And so that is what has put them in, into this position right now as disbelievers right so that's very interesting so anyways i'll be right back you're not going to notice the difference though 
وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ أَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقَكُمُ اللَّهُ قَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَنُطْعِمُ مَنْ لَوْ يَشَاءُ أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين ما ينظرون إلا صيحة واحدة واحدة تأخذهم وهم يخصمون فلا يستطيعون توصية ولا إلى أهلهم ولا وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ فَإِذَا هُمْ مِنَ الْأَجْدَاثِ إِلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَنْسِلُونَ قَالُوا يَا وَيْلَنَا مَنْ بَعْثَنَا مِنْ مَرْقَدِنَا هَذَا مَا وَعَدَ الرَّحْمَنِ وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم جميع لدينا محضرون فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا نفس شيئا ولا تجزون إلا ما كنتم تعملون إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام قولا من رب رحيم وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني آدم ألا تعبدوا الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين وأن اعبدوني هذا صراط مستقيم ولقد أضل منكم جبلا كثيرا أفلم تكونوا تعقلون هذه جهنم التي كنتم توعدون اصلوها اليوم بما كنتم تكفرون اليوم نختم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبصرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم 
على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مديا ولا يرجعون ومن نعمره ننكسه في الخلق أفلا يعقلون وما علمناه الشعر وما ينبغي له إن هو إلا ذكر وقرآن مبين لينذر من كان حيا ويحق القول على الكافرين أولم يروا أنا خلقنا لهم مما عملت أيدينا عملت أيدينا أنعاما فهم لها مالكون وذللناها لهم فمنها ركوبهم ومنها يأكلون ولهم فيها منافع ومشارب أفلا يشكرون واتخذوا من دون الله آلهة لعلهم ينصرون لا يستطيعون نصرهم وهم لهم جند محضرون فلا يحزنك قولهم إن نعلم ما يسرون وما يعلنون أولم ير الإنسان أنا خلقناه من نطفة من نطفة فإذا هو خصيم مبين وضرب لنا مثلا ونسي خلقه قال من يحيي العظام وهي رميم قل يحييها الذي أنشأها أول مرة أنشأها أول مرة أول مرة وهو بكل خلق عليم الذي جعل لكم من الشجر الأخضر نارا فإذا فإذا أنتم منه توقدون أوليس الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بقادر على بقادر على أن يخلق مثلهم بلى وهو الخلاق العليم إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون فسبحان الذي بيده ملكوت كل شيء وإليه ترجعون Perfect way to end it. And to him, all things are returning. But oh my gosh, you guys, before I can even say anything, mashallah, of course, as always. But at exactly 10 minutes in this video, um, I need to uh, look for something. <laughs> okay, so this is very interesting. And the sun, I'm gonna put it on the screen here, you guys, as usual. And I was really quiet and like really stiff this time because like this I just had a lot of warnings in it a lot of things that I need to be reminded of that are scary right about like the day of judgment and like how to treat each other and like all of that so this as I have this entire sort of 
uh, from Aya, uh, uh, well, it's multiple Ayas, is, is beautiful. Like, Yasin is insanely, like, huge. If you need a, if you need a reminder, of, like, a warning, um, then this is exactly the serif you, at this moment, you need it every day, but, you know, yeah. So, as it says in this particular story as well, that, you know, the Quran is but a plain reminder for man, as many of us already subscribed. No, and thank you for almost 820 subscribers, by the way. Okay. And, and, the sun runs on course toward its stopping point. Now, scientists have already talked about this. Ironically, thousands of years, well, you know, is 1,500 years ago this is written, right? So, over a thousand years after this is written, scientists will go on to say the same thing. Oh, the sun is going to die in X amount of years. Oh, it's going to die at some point. It's on the trajectory of dying, 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 dying. I saw documentaries on it. You can look it up. I'll put a quote here based on some National Geographic excerpt, you know, from some scientists and what he said. Um, but either way, Allah said it first, which is obviously more important and more proof of Islam being concrete evidence of what is to come and what already has happened to us at to us as you know this is a lot about disbelievers and what they were doing and how Allah is trying to continuously help them even when they first disbelieved and chose not to believe in certain things like you know prophet brought to them um I understand I started to get a little bit lost there's a couple of times I wanted, where I wanted to go back but that's okay <laughs> that's okay so that's just what, something that, and I'm talking really fast. I'm just like enthralled right now because the Sarah is really, really, really eye opening and like scary. But obviously, it's, it's meant to be. And I'm, I'm very, I'm very, um, very happy about it. Nevertheless, there's a lot of things been going on in my life personally, in my personal life, and that have been waking me up to a lot of realities that oftentimes, you know, as people, we don't want to face. And so, and so, you know, that's just the truth. And so, I just really want to say that to you guys. And once again, that I love and appreciate every single one of you. And once again, like, once again, so I'm going to finish reading the Surah. Um, I, before I go, um, that is the determination of the exalted in might, the knowing. So, aka Allah, God, the only one worthy of worship, which is what Allah means, is going to, the, the, you know, one of the most anointed names that he has out of the 99 plus. Um, he is specifically going to get rid of the sun. Now, I do think the day of judgment is going to happen before the sun is destroyed. Um, I just think that the sun might be destroyed on the day of judgment because every, I mean, everything else is going to. So, the sun might, this is an indication that the sun could be one of the first things that's destroyed. Um, either right before or during the day of judgment. So obviously, I don't think so because like there's still gonna be like you know Dajjal running around on Earth before Jesus, Isa, peace be upon him, goes around and kills him. Um, A.K.A. the Antichrist, the anti Allah, the um, the only one that is trying to deceive people into thinking that he's God. Uh, so Allah has definitely sent this man as a um. As, as a very important figure to, you know, he sent him to, I can't say to do his dirty work, but to be an example for us to kill Dajjal in front of us who are still on earth. And for those of us who are going to come back, if indeed that is the day of judgment, if the day of judgment, then, you know, you know, look up at the Hadith where the believers, us, inshallah, we will be sitting on the you know, thrones and stuff, just kind of chilling, I guess, while that's all happening. Again, I don't want to misquote anything here. Um, but uh, as always, I'll try to find that Hadith and put it down below or put it right here. If I don't find it, then that's fine. Don't worry about it, you guys. Um, and that's pretty much it. In because I feel like this video is already close to 30 minutes long. It's going to be H-E-L-L-2 edit. <laughs> Not that it matters, because... Spreading the truth of Islam is always important, even to those of you who already know about it. MashaAllah, we can always learn something and be reminded, as the Quran is a plain reminder for man. So hopefully that made sense to you guys, and I didn't mess up anything, because you know, I tend to fumble. And I just want to thank you guys again for your patience with me. I know it's getting annoying at this point, and I'm sorry. Once again, I just want, I just want to say that. And once again, um, I'm trying to like introduce this channel to more and more of my friends. I only have a few Muslim friends so far. Um, like I said, if you watch my first video, if you scroll down far enough, then you'll see why I don't have a lot of Muslims around me. However, inshallah, you know, I'm very patient. And I'm fine with having all these Christian friends. I, I get to teach them, and, and I realize now that that's a part of my calling, which is insane. Like, it's such a privilege that I sometimes can't even handle it. Um, but I'm trying, and, you know, pray for me, make dua. And, um, yeah, so I hope this made sense to you guys in this particular part is amazing to me so and so i might insert a clip if i find one about how you know a scientist said this like over a thousand years after Allah already talked about it and yes there's plenty of miracles on the quran that are on youtube but i just thought i'd mention that one because i noticed it for myself so now i feel special and anyways oh okay so, I, 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 see i messed up ah dang it so anyways <laughs> if it rhymes it must be true love you bye
طيب اصلا